Jiang Li woke up on the sickly beauty of the youngest daughter raised by the Jiang family in Aoli village. The original owner was also in a miserable situation. He was first divorced, and then he got angry and married a second married man as his stepmother. Unexpectedly, this stepmother became the control group of another stepmother in the courtyard. She can be regarded as a leading female supporting actress in the canon fodder world. But with Jiang Li, everything is not a problem. She only knew that the so dot called second married man was a returnee scientific research talent, with busy business, high salary, and a smooth and attractive lifestyle. He stayed away from home all year round, unable to eat enough or wear warm clothes, relied on walking when going out, and relied on shouting for communication. Marrying the other person in these years was the best thing for her, who only wanted to have a salty fish in her life. Zhang's mother. My daughter is foolish. Brothers, sister. In. Law, nieces and nephews. Sister, sister. In. Law, sister. In. Law, is crazy. However, except for the head of the family, Captain Jiang, the rest of the family were sweating for Jiang Li, worried that his delicate and weak daughter, sister, sister. In. Law, sister. In. Law, would not be able to bear the injustice of being a stepmother and would at least hold herself back. The villagers who know about the affairs of the Jiang family gather together, full of sour breath, talking about some things, especially those who don't want people to be good, just waiting to see the Jiang family's jokes. As a result, Jiang Li's married life was not only enjoyable, but also painful for men. His stepchildren doted on him and called him mom when they opened their mouths. The sons and daughters were like clingy geniuses, and his daughter dot in dot law, stepmother, followed him wherever he went. A certain unification confused. I thought the bound host was bronze, but I didn't expect it to be a king. Luo Yanqing was naturally indifferent, with only work in his heart, but at some point, he was surprised to find that he, who had difficulty returning home once a year, was unconsciously looking forward to the holiday. Keywords of the novel Rebirth Era The stepmother of the sick beauty only wants salted fish without pop-ups, Rebirth Era. The stepmother of the sick beauty only wants salted fish. Complete download of TXT, Rebirth Era. The stepmother of the sick beauty only wants salted fish. Latest chapter reading Chapter 1 Is voluntary, not angry with anyone. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 1 is Voluntary, Not Angry with Anyone, July 7th, Shaoshu. By a small stream at the foot of the mountain behind Aoli Village. I'm sorry. Zhou Weiman looked at the young girl standing three steps away from him with guilt in his eyes and said, If possible, I don't want to divorce you either, but. I don't accept it, let alone listen to you. The girl looked fair and delicate, like a fairy daughter, standing under the weeping willows by the stream, her whole body seemed to be shining. She spoke with a tense face, then turned around and left. You. Can't you just listen to me finish speaking? The guilt in Zhou Weiman's eyes grew stronger, but at the same time, he felt extremely helpless and felt that the girl was playing tricks again. He couldn't help but raise his voice and say, even if you blame me for breaking up with you, is it necessary to play a role in your own life? Mind your own business. The girl replied angrily, but never turned back or stopped. Marrying a second married leader and being the stepmother of three children, you're just being brainwashed and asking for trouble. Zhou Weiman shouted behind the girl, his tone full of disapproval. I am willing. The girl stopped and turned to look at her former fiancé A who was standing in the same spot. Her fox eyes were full of anger and she said angrily. Zhou Weiman, listen to me, I hate you. We've been engaged for three years now, and we're seeing two families getting married, but your family suddenly disliked my poor health and worried that I wouldn't be able to have children for you after marriage, so they ran to my house and insisted on getting married. Your mother still said in front of my family, let me not miss you, otherwise you won't even have a son or a half under your knee in the future and be laughed at by the villagers. Zhou Weiman, why did you go earlier? 
You shamelessly dragged your mother to my house to propose marriage, but in just three years, you secretly befriended Su Jiqing from the Youth Academy. Don't think no one knows. Her eyes turned sour, but the girl struggled to hold back tears. After speaking, she turned around and continued on. I. Zhou Weiman's mouth twitched, his eyes complex, and he wanted to say something. However, he couldn't say anything later. Unexpectedly, just as he hesitated whether to catch up with the girl, he seemed to slip under his feet and fell backwards. Li Bao. This is the nickname of a young girl, which has been used by her family and villagers since childhood. Zhou Weiman looked anxious as he repeatedly called out to the girl and ran towards her who had already fallen on her back. Jiang Li was awakened by the noisy chirping of cicadas and the fluctuating sounds of arguments. Her eyebrows furrowed slightly, and as she was about to open her eyes, a memory suddenly appeared in her mind. Strangely enough, this memory was not Jiang Li's own, and it followed closely as another book appeared in his mind, if I say, disagree, it means disagree. I want my daughter to marry a second married leader as my stepmother, unless I die. Kai Xiufen, also known as Zhang's mother, wiped away her tears and said, Li Bao promised you to marry the second married leader. That was a decision made by Li Bao and Zhou Weiman, who were angry and didn't think much about it. What about you? What's wrong with you? Li Baoka is also your daughter, Jiang Lai Jen. Why don't you consider anything and just make a decision in front of Director Wu of the Commune, wanting to pair our Li Baoka with that Luo Yanqing? The other party already has three children and is almost ten years older than our Li Bao. Aren't you purely pushing our Li Bao into a fire pit at this moment, the hall was filled with people, including men, women, and children, each pursing their lips with a serious expression, listening to their mother, mother.in.law, grandmother, accusing their father, father.in.law, grandfather. Listen to what you're saying. Jiang Lai Jen was the head of the family and also the captain of Aoli village. At this time, he only felt that his head was very big. It was clear that he was considering his daughter that he was chatting with Director Wu of the commune, speaking of his old leader in Beijing and trusting him with a task to find a partner for a returnee scientific research talent named Luo Yanqing. If he didn't think his daughter was good, could he bring up such a matter with him? And if he hadn't considered the conditions of comrade Luo Yanqing mentioned by Director Wu, he would have accepted Director Wu without saying a word, married his own daughter to comrade Luo Yanqing, and became his stepmother upon entering the house. Although comrade Luo Yanqing has been married, has three children, and is slightly older than our family's Li Bao, comrade Luo Yanqing is making great contributions to the country, and he is not yet in his thirties. Three children, the eldest being almost five years old, and the two youngest being twins, have lost their mothers since birth. Currently, they are around three years old, all very obedient little children. Otherwise, Comrade Luo Yanqing's work is really busy, it's difficult to find any time to go home and see Gu War all year round, and because the nannies they hire are not good to their children, otherwise they wouldn't want to remarry at all. Furthermore, didn't I tell you yesterday that Comrade Luo Yanqing's income is not low, and he issues this and that ticket every month? Director Wu said that when our Li Bao comes over, Comrade Luo Yanqing will directly hand over his salary passbook to Li Bao for management, the receipts and the like are also handed over to Li Bao. They only have one requirement for us, Li Bao, to take care of our three children at home Kai Xiufen was not convinced. This is not looking for a daughter dot in dot law, it's just looking for a nanny for the family. When I say Jiang Lai Jen, don't try to persuade me again. If I say no, it means no. Her family, Li Bao, is a good girl's family. How could she marry a 27-year-old second marriage leader? No, she firmly disagrees. I'm really doing it for Li Bao's good. Damn it, just think about it. Our Li Bao's body, as the doctor has said, is very difficult for us to have our own children in this lifetime, nowadays, as parents, we are still able to move and spoil Li Bao. Taking good care of her is not a big deal, but when we don't move. Before Captain Jiang could finish his sentence, his eldest son Jiang Guowei interrupted him, 
if you have me as a big brother who takes a bite, then you have Li Bao who takes a bite. The meaning of this is very obvious. Looking back at my mother and son for a hundred years, his older brother will definitely take good care of his younger sister. You keep your mouth shut for me. Staring at his eldest son, Captain Jiang gave a rude response. Stinky kid, adding chaos. Seeing my elder brother being scolded by Laozi, except for Jiang Guisheng, who had served in the army, Jiang Guqiang, Jiang Goan, and Jiang Goan, who had served in the county transportation team, Jiang Guifu, the fourth brother of Jiang who rushed home early this morning, wanted to agree with his elder brother's words and immediately swallowed the words that came to his mouth. Save being fired indiscriminately by Captain Jiang. Mom, don't argue with Dad. I voluntarily married Comrade Luo Yanqing. At some point, Jiang Li got off the Kong and stood at the door of her own room, holding the doorframe with one hand. Glancing around the family members in the hall, Jiang Li finally turned her gaze to Kai Xiufen, her biological mother in this lifetime. Her eyes were clear and bright, and she said seriously. I'm not angry with anyone, I'm just thinking that with my physical condition, marrying comrade Luo Yanqing may not be a good thing. Xiao Ye has opened a new article. Please support us, Mamoda, end of this chapter. Chapter 2 Mother, do you believe me? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 2 Mother, do you believe me? After receiving the memory that did not belong to her and the book that appeared in her mind disappeared, Jiang Li had a clear understanding of her current situation. Originally, she was reviewing documents in her study at home. After finishing her work, she saw the clock pointing towards one o'clock in the morning and casually dialed a video call to her younger brother who was studying abroad in country A. Unexpectedly, before their siblings could say a few words, she suddenly felt a pain in her heart and then went black in front of her, losing all consciousness amidst her brother's urgent and anxious calls. Opening her eyes again, enduring the pain emanating from the back of her head, she realized that she was wearing it, and it was in a stepmother's novel from an era where her values were not very positive. Of course, this is undoubtedly based on the memories left by the original owner and the book that appeared in her mind. Are you in a panic? Not at all. Because she knows what it means to settle down as soon as she comes, and at the same time, she knows that in her original world, she is likely to die from overwork and overwork for her family and group. The original owner, on the other hand, suffered from a deficiency from birth and was most afraid of emotional ups and downs. As for the seasoning, just two days ago, the Zhou family from the same village came to forcefully withdraw without warning, this morning, I was deceived by my ex fiance A through my best friend to the small stream at the foot of the mountain behind the village. When I left, I accidentally fell on my back and injured the back of my head. Although a barefoot doctor in the village diagnosed me, I was just unconscious and nothing serious. I should wake up after lunch at the latest. As a result, the person who woke up had a different core, indicating that the original owner was mostly lost in a coma. And when the original owner's parents were arguing in the hall, it was nothing more than the day after the Zhou family divorced, when the original owner's father returned from a meeting in the commune and brought up a marriage. Out of anger, the original owner didn't even think about it and agreed to go to Beijing to marry a male comrade named Luo Yanqing, as mentioned by Director Wu of the commune. As a mother, how could Kai Xiufen watch her precious daughter marry a second marriage leader and become a stepmother for her three children as soon as she entered the house? Therefore, Kai Xiufen strongly opposed this marriage. Unexpectedly, early this morning, Captain Jiang, the father, rode his bike to the commune. Director Wu personally handled it, and his senior leader approved the special task by phone, the two of them helped comrade Luo Yanqing, who was far away in the North City, and the other helped their daughter successfully complete the marriage registration. Okay, by now, Captain Jiang has not yet taken out his marriage certificate from his pocket to show to his family. Otherwise, Kai Xiufen, as a mother, wouldn't argue with Captain Jiang so easily. Dot. My daughter is foolish. Kai Xiufen really thought her Li Bao was speaking angrily yesterday. Who could tell her what's going on now? 
Jiang Guowei and his wife, Jiang Guoqiang and his wife, Jiang Guofu and his wife, as well as their respective children, as well as Jiang Goan, who is still single from the first child with Jiang Li, all stared blankly and said, dot. My younger sister, sister dot in dot law, sister dot in dot law, is crazy. It should be said that shortly after Jiang Guofu arrived at the workplace this morning, he received a call from his family, saying that his younger sister Li Bao had fallen and fallen unconscious by the stream. As a good elder brother who dotes on his younger sister, it is impossible not to go home to visit her. So, Jiang Guofu rode his bike and carried his wife and two sons back to the village at the fastest speed possible. To be honest, the original owner Jiang Li is definitely a group pet at home. Why? Quite simply, the Yuan family in the generation of Captain Jiang is three brothers without a sisters, and the three brothers have married and had children one after another, just like a race, all of them have a son, until Captain Jiang and his wife gave birth to their fourth child in a family, nearly a decade later, they finally gave birth to a pair of twins, and the entire Jiang family had a fragrant and soft little girl. Grandpa and grandma are favored, parents are favored, uncles and aunts are favored, uncles and aunts are favored, brothers and cousins are favored, and later brothers and cousins get married one by one, all of them are sons, and these younger generations don't need their elders to say anything. They also spoil the little aunt of the original owner. Some of the nephews are more than twenty years older than the original owner, even giving birth to children, but they don't feel embarrassed at all. If there is anything delicious, they just stuff it into the hands of the original owner. For example, the eldest brother of the original owner's uncle's family is 43 years old and has a 22nd eldest son. He got married last year and gave birth to a son at the beginning of this year. In short, with the entire Jiang family doting on him, the original owner seemed to have lived in a happy nest from childhood to adulthood, being raised by his family was both delicate and innocent. But the original owner was weak and weak due to his shortcomings. However, the original owner's appearance was particularly good, and the larger he grew, the more beautiful he became. It is not an exaggeration to say that his skin is like condensed fat, his eyes are beautiful, and his lips are like peach blossoms. In addition, the original owner has a sweet mouth, and the family's affection for him can be said to be afraid of falling when held in the hand, and afraid of melting when held in the mouth. This has led to the fact that the original owner, who has grown to adulthood today, has never washed a single piece of clothing, cooked a single meal, and has never done any easy household chores such as feeding chickens and ducks or sweeping the floor. The villagers gossip privately, saying that the Jiang family spoils their daughter too much. This is obviously a better kind of statement, but a bit unpleasant. They directly say that the Jiang family spoils their daughter too lazy and greedy. If you marry such a daughter dot in dot law to your home, don't think about your family's life anymore. Moreover, that is still a sick seedling that is difficult to bear a child, even if it is as beautiful as a celestial being, is it useful? You don't have much to say now, do you? We, Li Bao, have no objections to marrying comrade Luo Yanqing. Captain Jiang spoke out at this moment, breaking the silence in the hall and attracting the gaze gathered around Jiang Li. He said, took out a marriage certificate from his pocket, which looked like a certificate, opened it and flattened it for his family to see. This is Li Bao's marriage certificate. I went to the commune this afternoon, and Director Wu said that his old leader had a special approval for our marriage between Li Bao and Comrade Luo Yanqing. He went with me to the Civil Affairs Department to help us obtain the marriage certificates for our two children. Jiang Lai Zhen I see you've been fooled by Lard. Yesterday, you made a decision in front of Director Wu and arranged a marriage for Li Bao. Today, you didn't even say a word and went to get a marriage certificate instead of Li Bao. How could you be so capable? Kai Xiufen was about to explode with anger and stood up, ready to pounce on Captain Jiang and give him two claws. Seeing this, Jiang Li grabbed the old lady's arm and said, Mom, do you believe me? I really didn't get angry with anyone. Now, my father has brought back his marriage certificate, there is definitely no room for reneging on the matter, and I have never even considered reneging. 
Don't worry, when I go to Beicheng, I will definitely not let anything happen to myself, how can you trust your mother? You've never done anything since you were young. How do you live in Beicheng? And since you're all a child, how do you take care of three little dolls? When Kai Xiufen thought about what her precious daughter would face when she went to the North City, her heart was filled with pains. She is afraid, afraid that her Li Bao will be hungry, afraid that her Li Bao will soon become emaciated in a few days. While she is hungry, she cannot even put on a clean clothes, afraid that her daughter will be wronged and have no family by her side, hiding under the blanket crying uncontrollably, I can learn. Mom, I'm very smart, which is something our family knows. Besides, cooking and doing laundry are not difficult at all, on weekdays, when I see you and your sister dot in dot law doing these household chores, I actually remember them all in my heart. Why don't I stir fry two dishes tonight and serve them to everyone to taste and see how well I do, end of this chapter. Chapter 3 Just Want Salted Fish You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Just Want Salted Fish The original owner graduated from high school last year. If it weren't for not being able to take the college entrance exam, based on the original owner's academic performance, he would definitely be able to pass the entrance exam to a prestigious university. In other words, the original owner is really a learning material. Well, there's one thing Jiang Li has to admit, like the original owner, it's enough to call them high scores but low abilities. However, now with Jiang Li, everything is not a problem, including the fate of the protagonist in the plot. What are you learning? Kai Xiufen regained her composure and shook her head, saying, you can do nothing at home, why do you have to go to the North City to suffer and be a mother to others? On the side, the brothers Jiang Guowei and Jiang Li's sister dot in dot law and nephews nodded in agreement with what the mother, mother dot in dot law, grandmother, said. Jiang Li saw in her eyes that she knew her mother and these family members were all good for her, but she was not the original owner at all, even if she could imitate the original owner's character very well, however, it is also difficult to guarantee that there will be no hidden secrets. Based on this, leaving Aoli village and being far away from the family is not harmful. After staying for a year and a half, her temperament has changed, so it's easy to understand. After all, being divorced first, and then moving to the North City to live in a new family, it is inevitable that there will be differences in words and actions. Furthermore, Jiang Li doesn't mind imitating the original owner's temperament and way of speaking, but over time, it feels like living with a mask on, which in Jiang Li's opinion is tiring. So, it's good to go to Beicheng. Damn it, what you said is a bit unpleasant. What does it mean to be an old lady for someone? Captain Jiang frowned and looked directly at Kai Xiufen, saying, Comrade Luo is making great contributions to the country. Li Bao is his wife, helping to take care of the family and ensuring that Comrade Luo has no worries, this is also equivalent to making contributions to the country invisibly, not related to my mother. Are you still the female director of our brigade? Can you have some ideological consciousness? When Kai Xiufen heard the words, she couldn't help feeling guilty. But when she thought of the future life of her daughter, the dim sum disappeared. She stared at Captain Jiang and said. One thing belongs to one thing, why don't I have any ideological consciousness? All I know now is that I'm a mother, and I can't just let my daughter suffer and suffer. All right, I don't want to hear you mess around anymore. Now that Li Bao and Comrade Luo have both obtained their marriage certificates, the matter is firmly established and cannot be changed. Captain Jiang spoke without hesitation, and upon hearing this, Kai Xiufen's face turned very ugly. I won't recognize this marriage. Damn it, you're a reasonable person, why did you become like this now? Is it difficult for you to want our daughter to be an old lady for a lifetime? This woman is simply unreasonable. Our Li Bao is so good. How could she be an old lady? Just wait and see, I can definitely find a better partner for our Li Bao than the Zhou family's bastard. Let the Zhou family regret it then. Kai Xiufen looked so confident that Captain Jiang didn't know what to say. 
After a moment of silence, he said, you don't know what's going on with Li Bao's body. Even if we can help Li Bao find someone who doesn't mind Li Bao's difficulty in giving birth in Shaliba village, how can we deal with things behind him when he gets old and doesn't have a son or a daughter by his side? But if Li Bao and Comrade Luo live together, Comrade Luo's three children are still young now, and we, Li Bao, used to take good care of them. We can definitely raise them well. So, what is the difference between them and those we gave birth to? Besides, when Li Bao arrived in Beijing, he held Comrade Luo's salary passbook and various certificates issued. He had money and tickets, so why not buy them? Since I can buy food and clothing, and have three little dolls with me, I think Li Bao's life will definitely not be bad. In fact, Jiang Li was already very interested in Captain Zhang's proposed marriage partner through the content of the book that suddenly appeared in his mind and disappeared without much effort. Not to mention Captain Jiang gave the original owner a black and white full-body photo yesterday. The man in the photo, whether in terms of appearance or temperament, is in Jiang Li's aesthetic point. And the most crucial thing is that Jiang Li felt that the three major events she had been urged by her parents in her previous life, blind dates, marriage, and having children, were all achieved in one step in this life. Even if the current step is in place, according to the fate trajectory of the original owner in the text, when the stepchildren of the dragon and phoenix twins reached the age of five, they were taken by the original owner to a department store to buy things and accidentally got lost. Next, the eldest son of the original owner grew up to twelve years old. The original owner went out to search for the dragon and phoenix twins, and the eldest son followed closely behind. He saw the original owner's dazed expression as he was about to be hit by a large truck heading towards him, the eldest son rushed forward and pushed away the original owner, who was killed under the wheel. However, the original owner couldn't bear the blow and hugged the eldest son's body, vomiting blood and falling into a coma, never waking up again. Upon hearing that his wife and children had died unexpectedly one after another, Luo Yanqing collapsed in the laboratory shortly after completing his research project. According to the casual conversation between the male and female protagonists at the end of the article, the lost dragon and phoenix twins in their early years, in fact, he was abducted by human traffickers, one as a child bride for a foolish son of a family in the mountains, and the other as a son for a farming family that had given birth to children for many years, unexpectedly. When the little girl reached the age of sixteen and found out that she had been abducted, she couldn't help but flee at night and fell into a valley, dying. The little girl's twin brother initially went to buy his foster parents' house and lived a decent life. However, the next year, his foster mother became pregnant and fell behind, giving birth to a pair of twins. Two more years later, another son was added to the foster parents' family. There is no doubt that as the adopted son he bought, the little girl's twin brother was subjected to both physical abuse and physical abuse at her foster parents' house. At the age of sixteen, he was sent by his foster mother to work in the city with the adults in the village. He worked on a construction site for less than a year. In order to save his fellow workers, he fell off a five-story scaffolding and died on the spot. To be honest, after learning about the fate of the original owner, Luo Yanqing and his wife, as well as their three stepchildren, Jiang Li's heart was filled with criticism. Just because they are unimportant supporting role, just to set off the plot and set off the host family, the original husband and wife and three children deserve to be punished. In addition, in the year when the dragon and phoenix twins were accidentally lost, the parents of the original owner helped to find the two little ones in order to reduce their daughter's guilt. The third brother of the original owner lost one leg and became permanently disabled as a result, the little brother went missing without any news for many years. The two sons had accidents one after another, and the only daughter died again. Captain Jiang and his wife suffered a stroke and the other cried blind. In just two or three years, they passed away one after another. Being cannon fodder, loved ones around them were also cannon fodder, and the original owner actually fell into a bad reputation. Not virtuous, not kind, not filial, and causing a disaster. Once the people in the courtyard have free time to chat, 
they all compare the original protagonist and the female protagonist, full of contempt and disdain towards the original protagonist. Ha! Cannon fodder. Although the original protagonist can be considered a leading female supporting character in the canon fodder world, Jiang Li knows that at the moment she becomes the original protagonist, her fate, which originally belonged to the original protagonist, has already changed. As for her continued choice to complete the marriage between her original owner and that person named Luo Yanqing, on the one hand, the three major events of her previous life were achieved in one step, and on the other hand, she did not want her family in this life to be difficult to do, and did not want her father's words to be untrustworthy. It should be emphasized that now she really only wants salted fish. End of this chapter Chapter 4 Release Mouth You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Release Mouth In her past life, she received elite education from her family since childhood. At the age of 16, she was forced to take over the bankrupt Jiang family group. From then on, she devoted herself wholeheartedly to group affairs while teaching her younger brother, who was 10 years younger than her. Normally, outside the education team arranged by the family, raising children is the responsibility of parents, but her father loves his wife and mother the most. However, her mother was severely injured when giving birth to her younger brother Jiang Yi and needed long-term rest. Her father, in order to take care of his lover, had no intention of taking care of the group's affairs, resulting in major internal problems within the group, so, just as she had just obtained her third doctoral degree certificate, without any shame, she threw the burden of the Jiang group onto her at the age of 16. With a deep sigh, Jiang Li was not worried about her sudden death and whether the group would go into trouble. Why? Undoubtedly, she believed that her younger brother, who was over 17 years old, would be able to take over the Jiang family as smoothly as she did back then, after all, Jiang Li's younger brother, like her, was a genius. Besides, with her father around, how could the two of them experience any changes due to her years of hard work? With her thoughts wandering here, Jiang Li felt extremely relaxed in her heart. She had experienced a career before and had reached a height that many business colleagues found difficult to reach. In her eyes, money was just a number nowadays, regardless of the reason why she became the youngest daughter of the Jiang family in the 1970s and the canon fodder in a book, the only thing she has to do is salted fish, don't let yourself be like in my past life, shedding tears and tears due to responsibility fighting for the family and the group, so much so that at the age of 27, my body couldn't bear the load and suddenly died. Of course, since she is already the original owner, then the family of the original owner is her family. In her lifetime, she will protect these relatives under her wings to ensure their safety. Oh, and comrade Luo Yanqing and three little brats, let's protect them together. Everyone is a pitiful person, they are cannon fodder for the male and female protagonists to reach the pinnacle of their lives. In the future, with her around, they care about the male and female protagonists, and the bullshit plot. She is going to be the one who eats melons and watches dramas, while also taking her three young children and their father to watch the drama of the male and female lead family. This is what you said. Who knows exactly how? Kai Xiufen's angry voice pulled Jiang Li's thoughts back. Her beautiful lips pursed slightly, and then she followed the original owner's example by rubbing her head against the old lady's arm. Her voice was delicate and sweet. Mom, Comrade Luo looks much better than Zhou Weiman. I fell in love with his photos as soon as I saw them. Please agree to my marriage with Comrade Luo, otherwise, I won't be able to eat or sleep well, and I will definitely lose weight in a few days. You won't be the one who worries the most then. Besides, Dad has brought back both Comrade Luo and I's marriage certificates. If we go back on our word now, it will be a breach of trust and will be despised by others, whoever likes to say whatever they want, Mom is not afraid. Kai Xiufen casually replied. I know my mother is not afraid, my father, siblings, and nephews are not afraid, but I don't want my family to follow me and be talked about by outsiders. Mom, from my birth until now, I have been pampered and raised by a family. 
I cannot be a selfish ghost, I want a happy family Kai Shiofen looked lovingly at her daughter, and saw that the little girl's eyes were not at all evasive, and her expression was serious. She couldn't help but let go and said, have you really decided? Hmm. Jiang Li nodded heavily, and the clear and transparent eyes of the fox were full of innocence and joy. I like children, and my mother knows it. Every day at home, I play with my little nephews and teach them how to read and calculate. This is the truth. The nephews of the original owner, who are older than the original owner, take the initiative one by one when they are not in school, helping their adults earn work points. The younger ones follow the original owner's command and dare to do whatever they want. Kai Shiofen remained silent for a long time. Damn it, just keep your heart in your stomach. Arli Bao is so smart, she is sure to live a good life. By the way, I forgot to tell you, Director Wu, the old leader, also asked Director Wu to convey to us that they will arrange work for Li Bao in the North City, and there is a staffing structure Captain Zhang's words made everyone in the hall, except Jiang Li, open their eyes. A job with a permanent establishment means being a regular worker, eating commodity grain, and receiving monthly wages Jiang Guowei asked, Dad, isn't he deceiving our Li Bao? Impossible. Captain Jiang shook his head and then said, I can trust Director Wu's character. He said he will arrange work for Li Bao over there, so he will definitely arrange it. However, except for Captain Jiang and Jiang Li, the rest of the Jiang family were surprised and still didn't have much confidence in Jiang Li marrying the second married leader as his stepmother. They are worried, worried that their precious daughter, sister, sister.in.law, sister.in.law, will be wronged in the North City, worried that there will be no family to rely on, and she looks like a fairy, the frail daughter, younger sister, sister.in.law, sister.in.law, hid under the bed crying, trying to hold herself back for good or bad. However, no one spoke because they could see that their daughter, sister, sister.in.law, sister.in.law, was determined, and whatever they said at the moment was probably useless. Dad, I have something to say to Director Wu. Going to work. How could this be possible? She's really focused on making salted fish. She needs to go to work, no. Do you want to see Director Wu? Captain Jiang and all the family members focused their attention on Jiang Li. Yes, I'm going to the commune to meet Director Wu. I have something to say to Director Wu. Can Dad accompany me this afternoon? Jiang Li blinked, her clear eyes filled with hope and trust. Okay, Dad will accompany you, but you still have a wound on your head. If there's any harm on the road, your mother might have to eat me. Speaking, Captain Jiang carefully glanced at his old companion. It's okay, my head doesn't hurt anymore. Raising his hand to touch the back of his head, Jiang Li shook his head and gave a sweet smile. The original owner had white gauze wrapped around his head, and if he had suffered multiple injuries to the back of his head, there was no such injury. He only had a protruding piece and scraped some skin, which was not a big problem. Li Bao, what do you want to do with Director Wu? Kai Xiufen asked at this moment. Temporarily confidential. With a playful wink, Jiang Li smiled and said to the family sitting in the hall, I'm tired. Lie down inside for a while longer. Remember to call me when dad leaves. She needs to think about how to persuade Director Wu to transfer the work assigned to her by his old leader to her younger brother Jiang Goen. Regardless of whether the workplace is in Beijing or their hometown, as long as this job can be implemented by the young man, it's good. Why didn't you consider transferring your job to your nephew? It's simple, she has more than one nephew, and there are only two who are suitable for work at the age. If she gives this to someone but doesn't give one, it will inevitably cause family conflicts. Instead of causing such a stir, it would be better not to consider the younger generation, but to have her replaced by a young man who graduated from high school with her last year, and take on the iron rice bowl that people have admired in this era. End of this chapter. Have you obtained my consent in chapter 5? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Have you obtained my consent in chapter 5?
Instead of causing such a stir, it would be better not to consider the younger generation, but to have her replaced by a young man who graduated from high school with her last year, and take on the iron rice bowl that people have admired in this era. Jiang Li doesn't want to think too much about whether the older brothers in the household chores, big brother and third brother, will have any objections. She has a good idea and will try to persuade big brother and third brother to have two houses when she comes back. It is necessary for her to do so. And just as Jiang Li turned around and returned to her own bedroom, a mechanical sound suddenly rang out in her mind. Without waiting for her to react, she was bound by a laborious, childcare life system. However, Jiang Li only frowned imperceptibly and did not show any other reaction. At this moment, she stood in the center of the room, quietly looking at the white mosquito net hanging on the Kong, and then shifted her gaze to the nearby high and low cabinets, looking at the military green iron hot pot placed on the low cabinet I was stunned for a moment by objects such as enamel jars with the words, study hard and make progress every day, printed on them. These things, although old and new, are all specially purchased by the family for the original owner, and those that look half old, such as large items like high and low cabinets, were specially made by the family to the village carpenter when the original owner was seven or eight years old. To be honest, the decorations in this room and the memories left by the original owner, as well as the caring gazes from the family that Jiang Li had just met in the main room, made Jiang Li deeply realize that all the people in the family really loved the original owner from the bottom of their hearts. Even the sister dot in dot law who got married did not show any disdain in their eyes. She also has a sweet mouth and looks like a fairy daughter, so beautiful that it is breathtaking and breathtaking. When she sees it, she can't help but feel like it and wants to give her best thing as a gift. Jiang Li didn't find it strange at all, after all, everyone has a love for beauty, and who can resist a beautiful and sweet mouthed little girl like a fairy daughter. But on the other hand, nothing is absolute. For example, those who are jealous and have a strong sense of inferiority cannot help but talk about the original owner's appearance and the love of their family. Host, why don't you pay attention to me, duck? At this moment, the mechanical sound in the brain transforms into a soft and cute baby sound. Without a doubt, this is the system, which thought it had suddenly appeared, it can arouse curiosity or panic in the host, but the fact is that the host bound by it has no response at all. The system is very confused. It is a cute new generation. It is the first time to come out and complete a task. If it cannot be successfully completed, let alone become a regular, what awaits it will be destruction and reconstruction. And the remade system, is it it it? The answer goes without saying much, no. So, as soon as it arrived in this world and detected the host it wanted to bind to, it immediately acted first and then followed the instructions of a senior in the world, setting its voice to the domineering CEO's cold voice, it's good to deter the host and send them to help it complete the task well, but the host's reaction tells it that the kind dot hearted senior in the realm seems unreliable. There's no way, it restores the original sound. Soft and cute dull voice. I hope the host is a cute object controller. No, 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 this requirement is a bit high, so let's lower it a bit. I just hope the host is someone who doesn't dislike children. Are you being too casual? To put it bluntly, you're a scoundrel. To put it better, you're stupid. What kind of person do you think you belong to? His facial expression remained unchanged, and Jiang Li lay on the Kong with his back facing the door, his beautiful fox eyes slightly closed. System. Ah. Host, why do you call me a scoundrel and call me a stupid duck? Jiang Li said calmly, have you obtained my consent? I'm sorry. Host, I'm sorry. The system complained, I'm a cute newcomer. This is my first time doing a task, and because I was too nervous, I forgot to ask for your permission. Jiang Li did not respond. Host, can you forgive me once? Duck. Let me tell you, as long as you complete the tasks given to you by Tong Air, you will receive happiness points and rewards, and the tasks completed by the host are very simple, 
after the host completes the task, obtaining happiness points not only allows you to renew your life, but also allows you to redeem points with happiness points in a 1.10 ratio for shopping in the system mall by the way. The host receives particularly generous rewards every time. Tonger doesn't deceive the host. Collaborating with Tonger is definitely the most correct choice for the host. Host, please have a word, okay duck. Jian Li, like an old monk, still hasn't responded. Assign her a task. Ha. She has always been the one who controls others, okay. It seems that this laborious subsystem can withstand it to the point of wanting to go to heaven. Host, after comprehensive testing, your body has congenital deficiencies. If the host ignores it, you will not live long. If the host can complete the task well, they can purchase health pills or take gene repair fluid through points to increase your lifespan. Host, you can buy a health pill with 100,000 points, and you can also buy a gene repair solution the system has the desire to cry, but it is afraid that its host will greatly dislike whimpering monsters, so it can only hold on hard and not let itself make whimpering cries. It continues to do persuasive work. Host, Tonger is a child-rearing life unit, and the tasks are all very simple, such as teaching the little child to grow into a pillar of talent who emphasizes beauty and contributes to the country, and the host does small things such as pulling grass, cleaning windows, sweeping the floor, cooking, washing clothes, and so on. Teaching little dolls to earn happiness points, doing trivial things in life, and the host can earn points. Loud noise. She only wants salted fish in her life, have you figured it out? Host, if you adopt a non-cooperative attitude, Tonger. Tonger will punish you. The system used its small milk sound to scare, but it was unclear whether it was funny or not for Jiang Li. However, Jiang Li was a prominent figure in his past life, so he was naturally very stable. Whatever. Jiang Li Yin responded lightly with a light breeze. She was originally picked up with a life, so you can punish her whatever you want. If you really send her to the West, it won't be a big deal. Host, the electric shock is very painful. Tonger cannot bear to let you suffer. Woo woo. Tonger is a newbie. If you cannot complete this outdoor mission, you will be destroyed. Jiang Li gave a lot of sympathy, thinking that although he only wanted to be a salted fish in this life, salted fish did not necessarily mean stinky fish. In this case, she undoubtedly needs to take care of her daily life and create a comfortable and comfortable living environment for herself. For example, salted fish should have food, clothing, clean and hygienic living conditions, and a living environment with flowers and green plants in short, she wants to enjoy the salted fish, not the messy salted fish. In addition, there are indeed many dolls in her family. Moreover, when she goes to Beijing, the three little ones are waiting for her to raise for a long time. Based on this, being bound by the child-raising life system is actually not a problem. Stop making noise, stay obedient, and calculate your own happiness level. If necessary, I will call you. Favorite kisses, remember to bookmark and recommend support for Xiaoya, Momoda, end of this chapter. Chapter 6 John Lee's Guarantee. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 6 John Lee's Guarantee. John Lee's words are concise and concise. The system was stunned for a while, but when it regained its senses, it happily spun around. Dan Lee Bao, why are you so confused? After the family meeting ended, Kai Xiofen angrily gouged out Captain John's eyes and went to the baby girl's room. Out of politeness and respect for her elders, Jiang Li quickly sat up. Kai Xiofen sat on the edge of the Kong and looked lovingly at her fair and beautiful daughter, who looked like a fairy. With a hint of reproach, she couldn't hide her pity and said. Why don't you listen to your mother? She's doing it for your own good. You're not in good health, so you went so far to be the stepmother for the three little ones. Don't you know it's difficult to be a stepmother? Think about how the family in our village who has a stepmother has led their lives. Be kind to the cubs left behind earlier. Outsiders say it's hypocritical, 
and in the words of wealthy families in the past, it's called, supporting and killing, it's not good for the offspring left behind in front, and everyone is saying that the stepmother is malicious. Anyway, what we do is wrong. If this mother is really not a good person, then she deserves to be talked about. But if someone sincerely treats the cubs left behind, they must suffocate and die, mom, I'm not afraid of being gossiped about. All I know is that time can prove everything, and I'm not a fool, allowing others to maliciously slander me. Jiang Li said with a coquettish and silly expression, I hold everything back. Even if I'm not sick, I can still hold it back. I want to be good, so that my mother can rest assured at home. So, I believe in your smart and lovely Li Bao. I will never let myself feel wronged. Then you have to remember that we don't cause trouble casually, but we're not afraid of it either. Whenever you encounter difficulties or feel wronged, don't forget to call our brigade headquarters. Kai Xiufen stroked her daughter's fried dough twists braid hanging behind her head. Her eyes turned red. After thinking for a while, she said, I wish we had one or two relatives in Beijing. In case of any emergency, if there are relatives there, I can help you in time. Jiang Li, I promise I will be fine. Shaking her head lightly, Kai Xiufen said, Silly girl, there's no mother who doesn't worry about her children going out. Arguing with your father. Actually, I don't want to do this, but I just. It's just that he can't get angry. Although your father is also doing it for your own good, he didn't discuss it with the family and then made a decision in front of Secretary Wu, promising you to a second marriage leader, then he went on to take your marriage certificate on behalf of our family behind your back. He made such a big decision and didn't give his family any room for negotiation. My dad consulted with me before, and I nodded in agreement. It's really not my dad's fault for that. Besides, my dad is organized and has his beliefs. He thinks I'll marry Comrade Luo, it's not bad for me personally, and being able to support Comrade Luo behind the scenes and make contributions to our country is equivalent to me also making contributions to our country, my father has a high level of ideological consciousness. As a family member, if we delay our progress while my father is right, it's not good Jiang Li comforted the old lady. What's dragging your feet? I see your father has a big heart and is causing trouble with your life. Deathly old man, before going to bed tonight, see if she doesn't ring out his ear. Jiang Li smiled and said, Mother, how is my body? Our family knows that the Zhou family is using me to argue that I am difficult to conceive and has come to our door to withdraw my marriage. I am not angry, and even a little happy, so as not to marry into his Zhou family. I haven't seen any joy for several years, slanted by their family and gossiped by the villagers. Now I am about to go to Beijing and live with Comrade Luo. Mom, I really think it's good. Comrade Luo's salary is high and he still issues various types of tickets. By then, I will definitely be living a very prosperous life. In addition, Comrade Luo already has three children, I definitely don't mind whether I have children or not, and I don't want to have children myself. On the one hand, my physical condition probably doesn't allow it, and on the other hand, I'm afraid of pain. I'm afraid that if something unexpected happens during childbirth, I might die. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Jiang Li Never Fight Uncertain Wars You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Jiang Li Never fight uncertain wars before she could finish speaking, Kai Xiufen turned her head to the ground and repeatedly said, Pooh. After making several sounds, he turned his head and gently patted his daughter's arm, saying, I call you nonsense. If you don't live, you won't live. If you say you can't die, listen to my mother. If you have anything good or bad, my mother won't live either. Jiang Li looked moved and said, Mother. This is really a good mother. My daughter is so good, she will definitely live a hundred years, she will. Her family's Li Bao is very well behaved, she will never allow her little cotton jacket to have any problems. Okay, I won't say that kind of unlucky thing anymore, but when you think back to what my dad said, Comrade Luo, 
those three children, I will take good care of them in the future, and they definitely spend more time with me than Comrade Luo. As long as I treat each other sincerely, over time, they will surely feel my kindness if the three little ones are instigated by outsiders and don't listen to her, they will grow up well. It's a big deal. She will do her best and grow up whatever they want. However, such a situation is destined not to exist with her. Because she never fights uncertain battles. You've already spoken for this reason, what else can mom say? Zhang's mother shook her head helplessly and said, but you should know that the reason why my mother is arguing with your father and disagreeing with you marrying comrade Luo is just because my mother loves you and doesn't want to see you suffer. She doesn't want to be your stepmother when you enter the door. I know, I know it all. I know my mother only argued with my father because she felt sorry for me. Mom, you're the best. You're the best and best mother in the world. I love you so much. Nestled in the arms of his mother, Jiang Li's voice was soft and delicate, completely in the posture of a young daughter, acting coquettishly towards his mother. You have a sweet mouth. Lightly tapping Jiang Li's nose, Zhang's mother looked affectionate and sighed lightly, saying, Now that your marriage is settled, my mother won't say anything anymore. But you must remember, once you suffer injustice. Jiang Li didn't wait for his mother to finish speaking before responding, Don't worry, mother. I will remember what you said and call you and my father as soon as I feel wronged. I won't hold back. Although that's what he said, Jiang Li didn't care at all about being wronged or anything. She just said that for Aunt Anne's heart. After all, in Jiang Li's past life, the word wronged never appeared. After chatting for a while, Zhang's mother left. Come out now. The footsteps outside the room gradually disappeared, and Jiang Li used the C recognition system. Host, the overall situation is here. Do you know Bing Duen Duen? From now on, you will call it Dun Dun. In addition, my name will be changed. The good thing of Pi falling from the sky only exists in dreams. She doesn't care what kind of system this so dot called system is, but it doesn't affect the other person being her companion in this world. Okay, okay, I heard Mr. From now on, my name will be Dun Dun, and I will call you Miss when I call the host. The system turned into a Bing Dwen Dwen, and was happy again and again. Little sister. Jiang Li felt uneasy for a moment when calling her little sister, but because she was a hidden and cute object controller, she did not reject the system calling her little sister. Whatever you want. It is obvious that Queen Jiang Li is proud and coquettish through the three words, whatever you want. Dwen Dwen. Sister, there's a big gift package for newcomers. Do you want to draw it now? Hmm. As Jiang Li responded, a big wheel appeared in her mind. Dwen Dwen. Sister, I'm about to start. The turntable rotates rapidly. Jiang Li, stop. End of this chapter. What do you say about chapter 8? You are listening at novel full dot audio. What do you say about chapter 8? The big wheel no longer rotates in an instant. The dazzling fireworks bloomed and the big gift package that Jiang Li smoked slowly opened. Dun Dun Seal Style Applause Congratulations, little sister, you have won a big shot and multiple sets of adult and children's clothing, hats, shoes, and socks. Dot. Jiang Lime Thinking that Jiang Li was not satisfied with the big gift package he received, Dun Dun quickly and cutely explained, little sister, as long as you take the big pill, from now on, you will have the strength to pull out mountains in this world. As for clothes, hats, shoes, and socks, you can give them to your loved ones to wear. Jiang Li said, with just my body, if I take the powerful pill and exert extraordinary strength, I will definitely not lose my strength and return to the West. Dun Dun. No way. Don't worry, little sister. The system is produced and there are absolutely no side effects. Ao Jiao Jiang Li went online and said, Trust you once. The feeling of being trusted by the host is really good. 
Dun Dun turned around happily again and said, Sister, the clothes, hats, shoes, and socks you drew all matched the wear of this era. You can give them directly to your family when you come back, so you don't have to worry about how to explain them. Is that right? The original owner had over a hundred yuan of pocket money on him, which his family had been giving him over the years. However, the original owner had not spent much money, so he saved all this money as a keepsake for his wedding. The opportunity for the original owner to go out alone is almost non-existent. Firstly, the family is not at ease. Secondly, the original owner is timid and dare not go to the town or county alone, so naturally he has not bought anything for his family. Can she suddenly give out her clothes, hats, shoes, and socks as a token of her family's affection for the original owner of her body without an explanation? Dun Dun, little sister, what are you thinking? Did Dun Dun say the wrong thing? Jiang Li said, it's nothing to do with you. Let's go play. Remember, there's no need to post your so.called tasks to me. I have a clear idea in my mind. Is this really necessary? Dun Dun feels a little sad. Jiang Li, what do you think? Dun Dun had a strong sense of danger and said, I know what to do. Goodbye, little sister. He disappeared immediately. With a flash of thought, a pill appeared in Jiang Li's hand out of thin air. Milky white, with strands of medicinal fragrance lingering in the nose, slightly lost in thought. Jiang Li no longer hesitated and took it down. The entrance is transformed. Jiang Li didn't make a big fuss. What she was thinking was that the delicate body of the original owner who took a few steps to catch her breath, taking the powerful pill, was not a bad thing for her. Why? Jiang Li doesn't want it to be a waste material that cannot be lifted by hand. Yes, it's just that I can't carry it on my shoulders, but if I can't even lift something, for Jiang Li, it's definitely embarrassing to blush. She is well aware that she is no longer the leader of the vast Jiang family group, and there are people who help her take care of the trivial matters of life wherever she goes. She is now an authentic rural girl, a rural girl who is almost spoiled by her family. If you can't even lift something that weighs a few pounds, you're afraid that when you arrive at the imperial capital, your neighbors will use your young lady's body in maid's life to chew your tongue. Li Bao, get up and tidy up. Dad will ride your bike to the commune to see Director Wu. Captain Jiang doted on Jiang Li's door in the main room and shouted, pushing his bicycle to the front yard. Old man, wait a moment. Chasing Captain Jiang into the courtyard, Zhang's mother casually tied a thick soft cushion on the back seat and said, This way, Li Bao can sit comfortably. I almost forgot, it was you who was very careful. Captain Jiang was quite frustrated. What do you remember? I've been thinking about all the miscellaneous things in the team all day, so there's no need to worry about Li Bao who cares about me. Give Captain Jiang a white eye, and Zhang's mother said, I'll go and take a look at Li Bao's house. Wait here, and also, ride slowly on the road, don't disturb Li Bao. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Little girl, are you sure you want to do this? You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 9 Little girl, are you sure you want to do this? Captain Jiang was scolded without any anger. He opened the corners of his mouth and smiled, Li Bao is my daughter, and I naturally care about her. Cooked ingredients, Jiang Mu just snorted coldly and didn't answer. This old lady. Captain Jiang looked at Zhang's mother's departure and shook his head helplessly. To be honest, the marriage proposal he made to Director Wu of the commune was definitely a sincere plan for his precious daughter. Although he also felt that his daughter married Comrade Luo and became his stepmother as soon as she entered the house, which was a bit unfair, his parents' love for his son was far dot reaching. His family, Li Bao, had been in poor health since birth, and after being diagnosed by doctors at a large hospital in the city, it was difficult to give birth to a son and a half daughters after marriage. Based on this, can he not make the most appropriate plan for his precious daughter? As he thought about it, Captain Jiang shook his head in his heart. He didn't regret it, 
didn't even bother to arrange a marriage for his daughter, and helped register and obtain the certificate. After all, Comrade Luo was once divorced as a second marriage and had three children. His own conditions are really good. To take a step back, even if the second marriage and those three dolls are the weaknesses of Comrade Luo, for his daughter, these so-called weaknesses are not actually considered weaknesses. The reason is undoubtedly what he said to the old lady and grandchildren before. As long as Li Bao sincerely treats three children, is it not his reliance in the future? Comrade Luo's second marriage, in other words, means he is a bit older, but this age also has its benefits. Knowing how to hurt others. Besides, the age difference of less than ten years old is not much older than his daughter after all. Not to mention Comrade Luo, who is extremely handsome, in his sixties and seventies, but from the photos, he is at most a young man in his twenties. However, this does not mean that Comrade Luo is not a steady person. On the contrary, his expression showed a calm and introverted demeanor. Dad, let's go. Two bright fried dough twists braids hang casually on her chest. Jiang Li wears a white ground floral shirt, navy blue pants, and a pair of Chinese white ball shoes. She walks out of the hall. The clear fox's eyes are full of smiles, and her voice is relaxed and cheerful. She comes to Captain Jiang. The fresh breeze blew, brushing the fine bangs hanging in front of Jiang Li's forehead. She casually pressed them down and walked beside her father, and the two of them walked out of the courtyard door. Red Flag Commune Little girl, are you sure you want to do this? Director Wu was amazed this time. He had heard of the youngest daughter of the Jiang family in Aoli village who looked good, but when he saw her, he couldn't help but secretly sigh. This is not an ordinary person who looks good, it's so beautiful that people can't take their eyes off it right. And with outstanding temperament, she doesn't seem like a little girl that can be raised by a wealthy family at all. Also, just standing there without moving is an extremely beautiful scene for the little girl. The little girl, despite having such good conditions, showed no arrogance or timidity. She stood in front of him confidently, greeting him calmly and expressing her thoughts on arranging work for her in the North City. To be honest, if Old Wu had a son of similar age who was not yet married, he would definitely tell him that the little girl would be his daughter. In law. My thoughts wandered here, and Director Wu's smile remained warm, while his heart was filled with regret. What's wrong with being delicate? What's wrong with difficult childbirth? He, Old Wu, has three sons, which cannot be given birth to. Is it difficult for him to still lack a grandson support? The answer is naturally negative. But unfortunately, all three of his children have already married and had children. Now, he can only regret watching such a good little girl go to the imperial capital and become someone else's wife. Director Wu has a good impression of Jiang Li, not only because of his good looks, but also because of his temperament and affinity. He believes that the old leaders in Beijing will be very satisfied with the marriage he brought to comrade Luo Yanqing after seeing Jiang Li. End of this chapter. Chapter 10. Completion. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 10 Completion Simple, kind and cultured, with a kind and friendly temperament, she looks like a good girl. At the same time, Director Wu also believes that comrade Luo Yanqing will be fully satisfied after seeing Jiang Li. Imagine having a fairy-like daughter in law by your side, who can not only help take care of the children, but also keep an eye on yourself for a lifetime. How wonderful! Hmm. Jiang Li nodded without hesitation, her eyes clear and transparent. I want to focus on taking care of my children at home, but if I go to work, it's inevitable that I'll get distracted. Besides, Comrade Luo's children are still young, so they need more adult companionship. Otherwise, they may have personality flaws in their growth process. Upon hearing this, Director Wu smiled and said, You've said that, I don't think it's a big problem. He gestured for Jiang Li and Captain Jiang to take their seats, and Director Wu picked up the landline microphone and dialed out a string of numbers. He is calling the old leader in Beijing. 
After the phone was connected, Director Wu and his old leader truthfully expressed Jiang Li's thoughts. Then, he held the microphone with a smile and nodded in response, knowing. Little girl, Song not only agreed to what you said, but also said he would directly arrange work for your little brother in Beijing. Putting the microphone back on the landline, Director Wu's gaze fell on Jiang Li, and he smiled kindly, by the way, your little brother will be arranged to go to Beijing Petrochemical. Jiang Li's expression was slightly shocked upon hearing these words. Director Wu smiled and said, Don't be surprised. Mr. Song found out that you are an excellent comrade and confirmed that you are willing to leave your hometown and go to Beijing to support Comrade Luo's work. Without hesitation, he agreed to what you said. After a moment's pause, Director Wu said again, As for arranging your little brother to go to Beijing Petrochemical, it was because Mr. Song considered that you were just a little girl and wanted to leave your family and hometown where you were raised. He was worried that you would feel helpless in Beijing, so he took this opportunity to let you have a close relative by your side. After hearing Director Wu's words, Jiang Li didn't say a word and bowed directly to Director Wu, saying, Director Wu, thank you for helping me with this favor. What's there to thank you for? Director Wu waved his hand and smiled, saying, Song Laoning had such an arrangement, and ultimately it was you who fought for it on your own. It should be said that Mr. Song, also known as Director Wu's former leader in Beijing. On the side, Jiang Dadui was in a daze for a long time. He never expected that his precious daughter would transfer the work assigned to her in the North City to her older brother and his younger son. Unexpectedly, the North City side agreed and arranged for his youngest son, Goen, to work at the North City Petrochemical. Although he is not sure what kind of unit Beijing Petrochemical is, simply listening to the four words, Beijing Petrochemical, it is not difficult to know that this unit is not simple. Captain Zhang's heart was both excited and guilty at this moment. He was excited that his youngest son had a good future, but at the same time, he felt guilty about his precious daughter. In order to help reduce the burden on the family and give the older brother a chance to go out, he was willing to give his own interests without any hesitation and quickly get things done. To be honest, his daughter Li Bao's actions were really beyond his imagination. But the fact is that Captain Jiang misunderstood, but this can also be considered a beautiful misunderstanding. After all, Jiang Li had no intention of expressing her true thoughts. She just wanted salted fish. The two of them left the gate of the commune, but Captain Jiang couldn't hold back. He stabilized the handlebars and asked, Li Bao, what do you think? Why did you just transfer your own job to your little brother? Do you know that this is not a small matter, it is a big matter that concerns your future? Jiang Li smiled and said, Dad, you know about my body. If I really participate in work, I'm afraid my body won't be able to handle it. End of this chapter